What's up, Diabetic Savings fam? Today, we're diving into three lesser known features on the Minimed 780G system that I think make a huge difference. If you're using the 780G or you're thinking about it, you're gonna wanna hear this. First of all, let's talk about the reservoir and the set change options. The Minimed 780G now gives you three options change set and reservoir, change set only, or change reservoir only. This is a great feature because when you're using the extended infusion set, sometimes the infusion set lasts longer than the reservoir. So you can change your reservoir without having to change the entire infusion set. It's all about flexibility and keeping things running smoothly. It also flows into the second lesser known feature that I really like, which is the status screen upgrade. The status screen leveled up. It's now divided into pump and sensor. It tracks your last infusion set date and your sensor date, both the battery for the pump and the sensor. And it just gives you all the information all in one place. This is a great feature for me from a travel standpoint, because I can look at my data and see when my next site change is scheduled to be and when my next sensor change is scheduled. So that way I don't have to do any guesswork. If I forget when I changed my infusion set last, it's not a big deal. I can go check on the screen in a few seconds and get exactly the date when my infusion set needs to be changed and when my sensor needs to be changed. No more guesswork, just data so you can get it done. Finally, let's talk about the graph. The chart obviously shows your number and it looks very similar to other charts from other systems. If you tap right or you swipe left on the app, you can see your time and range for the last 24 hours, which is really nice. It also shows you basal and bolus during smart guard. So the purple is the basal rates. You can also see some of the gaps where it stops giving you insulin because your glucose value is already in range. Your glucose is predicted to fall below your target range or is falling below target range. But then you also see the blue lines for the auto corrections. And those will uh, come through anytime SmartGuard gives you a bolus to keep you in range. This real-time data has helped me tweak my bolus amounts and carb counts for meals because when I look at my CareLink data, it allows me to see the trends over 7, 14, and 30 days. So I can see which meals I'm maybe not counting my carbs correctly for and maybe need to adjust my carb ratios. Be sure not to adjust settings without the supervision of your care team. So that's it. These are the three lesser known features that make the Minimed 780G even more powerful. If you found this helpful, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and let me know in the comments how these features are working for you. See you next time.